now we are going to discuss about access ports a access port is a port that allows a traffic that belongs to a particular VLAN that is allocated to that port generally this access ports will be connected with the end devices so access port is nothing it allows a traffic of a particular or a single VLAN so let's see how does it works with this scenario uh, here I, I'm having a switch with four pieces uh, right now I haven't did any configurations so it's a simple LAN network going forward I'm going to uh, split this LAN network into two different VLANs using two, uh, two different VLANs VLAN 10 and VLAN 20 so right now uh, I haven't did anything it's a simple LAN network so this is a simple LAN network I haven't, I haven't did anything so in this case uh, now if we try to communicate from PC0 to PC3 it will communicate because this ports will uh, as we haven't uh, configured any VLANs now it will communicate let's see so now when I try to communicate from PC0 to PC2 it's communicating because it's under same VLAN uh, I haven't uh, partition using VLANs it's under same LAN now I'm going to split this LAN into two different VLANs by using access ports so first of all I'm going to configure uh, first Ethernet 0 slash 1 that's connected to PC 0 and first, uh, first Ethernet 0 slash 2 that's connected to PC 1 as an access port I'm going to pass in VLAN 10 first of all need to create a VLAN so as a VLAN as this is a VLAN 10 we are going to create VLAN 10 and uh, we can name it as whatever we need we can name it as RD or research interpret whatever it is okay so then we need to pass this VLAN in this interfaces that's first Ethernet 0 slash 1 and first Ethernet 0 slash 2 so now I have entered into the first Ethernet 0 slash 1 and 0 slash 2 now I am going to make this port as an access port that is once, I've, uh, once if I configure this uh, as an access port then it will allow only the traffic of VLAN 10 or whatever VLAN I am passing switch port mode access this is the command to make it the interface as an access mode now the interface has been changed to the access mode now we need to pass a particular VLAN or allocate a particular VLAN to this interface so this switch port access VLAN 10 so now I have allocated VLAN 10 to this interface as like the same need to create VLAN 20 and name it as whatever it is sales something it. interface So now fast Ethernet 0 slash 3 and 0 slash 4 needs to be configured as access port by pausing VLAN 20. So interface range fast Ethernet 0 slash 3 to 4. Now I have entered into that particular interface and I am going to change the mode of the port to access port. So now I am going to allocate a particular VLAN to this ports. Once if allocated, only the traffic of that particular VLAN will be passed. Switch port access VLAN 20. So now we have made the changes. Let's see. So VLAN brief.
if we see we have created a VLAN 10 and named it as RD research and development and the status of the VLAN is in active state and this VLAN is passed to fast ethernet 0 slash 1 and fast ethernet 0 slash 2 nothing but to PC 0 and PC 1 much like the same we have created VLAN 20 named it as sales and it's in active state that's connected that's passed in the uh, fast ethernet 0 slash 3 and 0 slash 4 So, now we have uh, split a uh, LAN into two different VLANs that is VLAN 10 and VLAN 20 by using the ports as an access port. Now let us see uh, if we try to communicate from PC1 that is 10.0.0.2 to 10.0.0.10 let us see what happened. It will generate an ARC message to learn the destination MAC address, but this ARC message will not be broadcasted to the VLAN 20 network. See, the ARC message is generated from PC1 to know the destination that is 10.0.0.1, but this broadcast, this ARC message is not delivered through this ports that is uh, as fast ethernet 0 slash 1 and 0 slash 2 is allocated with VLAN 10 only the traffic of VLAN 10 will be passed through the fast ethernet of 0 slash 1 and 0 slash 2 as like the same as fast ethernet 0 slash 3 and 0 slash 4 is allocated as VLAN 20 or configured with access port as VLAN 20 only the traffic belongs to VLAN 20 will be passed through this ports let us see as like the same let us see how it, it works when we try to communicate with a PC that is in a same VLAN An app message is sent. An app message is sent to learn the destination MAC address. Now ICMP packets are sent. Right? Now ICMP. The place coming. This is how access port works. The access port allows only traffic belongs to a particular or a single VLAN that is allocated to that port. See, now we have got replay from this PC. That is, when it try, when PC1, that is 10.0.0.2, tries to communicate with PC3, that is 10.0.0.10, .10, that belongs to VLAN 20, it can't able to communicate because the port uh, fast Ethernet 0 slash 2 is in access mode, access port that allows only VLAN 10 traffic. As this PC3 belongs to VLAN 20, this port is not allowed to go further. Uh, as like the same when we try to communicate with PC0 that is 10001, it allowed to pass the traffic because this fast Ethernet 0 slash 2 is in VLAN 10. This is how access port works uh, let me tell you once again access port is a port that transport traffic to and from only the specified VLAN allocated to it and it generally it will be connected with the end devices and it supports traffic of a single VLAN for more updates please subscribe the channel and thanks for watching the video thank you